Alright everybody, I'm doing this in probably the least efficient way possible because I have no microphone and I need to capture something on my screen here. So I'm running my hypercam and talking into my camera and I'll splice the audio in later. But if it gets out of sync, don't blame me. I'll buy a microphone later. Alright, the first things first, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to show you how to speed up Firefox a little bit. Um, it's a neat little trick that you can do it just takes a couple minutes um, it will speed up your Firefox uh, in regards to pulling up pages on a faster internet connection I would say anything uh, 768k and above this means a 1.5 meg uh, megabit connection or 3.0 megabit connection anything above that is going to benefit even more from this what we're going to do is we're going to set some pipelines we are going to increase the amount of requests that Firefox is actually going to send to web servers to obtain information at one time. So instead of pulling in three or four streams of information at a time, we're going to try to pull in about 50. So, first things first, let's go up here in our address bar and we are going to type about colon config. Now, hit enter and that's going to give us a nice little message here that says this might void your warranty. Um, yeah, that's all crap. We're just going to hit OK. As with everything else in a computer. I'll be careful, I promise. Alright. First thing we're going to do. Filter. We are going to type in PIP. That's going to give us all of the options that we need to get to. The first thing, we're going to uh, enable this. This is actually a boolean that says uh, pipelining value true. It says true because I actually have it turned on right now. Uh, when you see it, it will be false. You'll just double click on that and it'll go to true. Um, max requests. Now this is the setting that is interesting. The higher this value, um, the more requests your computer is going to send to the internet per se in order to obtain information. You can put uh, pretty much any number in here. It's going to work, but there is an efficiency according to the connection as to what you set it to. Um, I would recommend starting with 30 and work your way with that. Um, be different just according to uh, your connection as to what is the most efficient for you. You'll probably have to find that on your own. Um, mine's set to 8 right now because I'm actually running another program that does this for me. Um, but Alright, now we are going to type in max, let's see, where's that, oh, I had a little brain for it there, okay, maximum connections, right here, we're going to try to raise this, um, I'm not really sure what the default value is on this, I'm running 48 right now, and I'm probably going to change that to about 80, that's max persistent connections. Um, per server 24. Now if you raise this too high some web admins are going to get pretty mad at you because you're taking up all of their connections and bandwidth. Um, it really depends. A safe setting would be uh, 50. Um, like I said it just depends. So that is that. Um, that should speed you up a little bit with Firefox 3. Um, I love Firefox 3 personally. It's my favorite web browser at this point in time. There's uh, so many cool features like the uh, awesome bar here. Like, uh, let's say I went to a page earlier and I want to get back to it again. Um, let's see, what's something I've visited recently? Well, um, let's go with Erica's YouTube. Erica Lee 777. Oh, makeup dog. I'm giving you a sneak preview there. Anyway, and we make our way to her YouTube. Which she probably is uploading a video as we speak. But, uh, among some other features, that one's pretty cool. I like that myself. Um, oh, here's a neat one. Let's go back to my home page, Google. Uh, I want to define a search. So I'm going to hit add a keyword for this search here. Um, 
the name of this search is obviously a Google search. Keyword I'm going to put is just a simple G. Now the reason I'm doing this, you'll see in just a moment. We're going to add that as a bookmark and it's going to show up in our bookmarks list here. That's a huge bookmarks list. Anyway, so now we want to Google search something. Instead of coming down here, well, instead of going from this site here all the way back to the home page and searching for something up in the address bar, we're just going to type G space and then we are going to search for cheese. And we get a Google search for cheese with all the glorious things that is cheese, like craft cheese and I love cheese homepage. That guy really likes cheese. Anyway, um, that's just another great feature of Firefox. There are countless amounts of cool things you can do. And I recommend if you are using Internet Explorer uh, 7, definitely go over to Firefox. If you're using 6, then you should probably go over to Firefox. Um, there's no disadvantage to moving to Firefox other than the fact that uh, one or two sites that I've encountered will actually not allow you to do certain things from Firefox. Um, not sure what their problem is, but you know you've always got Internet Explorer installed by default so it's not going to really hurt you. Um, a lot of cool features of Firefox. Uh, this one's pretty cool um, that they added in part 3, Firefox 3, um, is instead of when you hit a plus or minus on your keyboard it increasing just the text size. Where's it at? Oh, come on. Oh, I'm sorry, Control Plus. It increases image size now. So the page doesn't look all crazy weird. Where's my default? Yeah, that right there it is. Um, on top of all the embedded features here, there are literally thousands of extensions that you can add to customize it to your own liking, um, among other things. So move over to Firefox and enjoy these little tips I gave you just now.